Hi everyone, it's an honor to be with you to share some Torah. I'm Rabbi Allison Solomon and I've been thinking a lot about this idea of tshuva, which in Hebrew is the word for return. And especially on the high holidays, we're asked to consider the ways in which our turning and our returning can bring us closer to ourselves, to God, to community, to the world. And I've been thinking, you know, how is it that we are supposed to return to a place that perhaps we've never known or never been? And um, to share a little personally, I'm on the brink of uh, God willing, bringing a new soul into this world. And uh, it's right around the corner. <laughs> and I'm thinking a lot about how is it, how it is that, that tshuva is an opportunity to go or return to a place that I really have never been. And I've been thinking about the high holidays and the liturgy and what are the tools that it might provide to come home to a place that we don't know or that doesn't know us. And I wanted to share with you a teaching uh, brought by Rabbi Alan Liu in his classic, This is Real and You and I Are Completely Unprepared. And say that this question of how is it that we return to a place that we've never been and um, how, how, how can we do that is actually good news. Um, that this title is actually good news. Uh, that it is from that kind of fresh unknown that we can hopefully return. And Rabbi Lou quotes Rav Soloveitchik in his uh, classic work on tshuva uh, found in the Compendium of Days of Awe. And he says, if you're moving along the circumference of a circle, it might seem at first as if the starting point is actually getting farther and farther away, but it is also getting closer and closer. The calendar year is such a cycle. On Rosh Hashanah, a new year begins, and every day is one day further from the starting point, but every day is also a return, a drawing closer to the completion of the cycle. And he quotes uh, from the biblical prophet of Samuel, serving the people of Israel in a circuit every year. Every day, every year he went from Ramah to Bethel, to Gilgal, to Mitzpeh, and then finally back to Ramah again. And Rabbi, uh, Rav Soloveitchik says, the moment he left Ramah, speaking of the prophet Samuel, he was already returning there. Everywhere he went, he was heading for home. So while, you know, we might not be starting out from Ramah, we might not be starting out from a place that we've ever been, but in some way, what I'm kind of leaning into this year in particular is the idea that we are moving around something, uh, that something is moving around us, inside of us, that there's a circular process here that is actually um, primal and um, beyond us that we can rely on to, to bring us home, even if we've never been there before. So I just want to offer us all blessings that this year be one of, um, of making tshuva um, and also of letting, letting tshuva make us and letting tshuva guide us and lead us and bring us and return us and that um, quite possibly we've never been there before but that's part of the journey of just that movement so blessings to all of us really as we return to a place 
that is new to us on whatever level that might take. So Shana Tova, happy returns.